Tommy a, a win in the derby, that must be a brilliant feeling. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a close, close fought encounter. I thought the two games, there wasn't a lot in both of them, which is, you know, expected. You know, yeah. Local rivalries, fans have obviously got gripes with each other. But when it push comes to shove, I just thought over the two games, we were the slightly better side, and I think the four points has been justified. And well, a goalless draw in the unboxing day, a lot of goals today, so the exact opposite almost. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I didn't think it was a boring oh, game the other day. It was, it was a decent, both teams created decent chances in the first game, but we just nobody took the chance. Um, today we managed both to get to get goals, so we've come out on top just. Um, but I think, I think over the whole, well, whatever many minutes we played, it was a hell of a lot of them. Yeah. I, I, I felt that we were, we were worthy winners today. Well, um, then we got pegged back a little bit, didn't we? They equalised at, uh, at one all, and they also got it back to three two. Were there a few nervy moments in that added ten to twelve minutes? Oh, there, there always is because it, it just means it could be a mistake, it could be a slip, it could be you know you don't want that to be put on anybody. When you know, I heard somebody talking the other day. I went to watch a game where a team equalised in the ninety seventh minute, and the, the coach was explaining that sometimes there's winning draws and there's losing draws. If we if we did give them the two points back at the end there, it would have felt like a losing draw. Um, but like I said, I think over the whole period of the, the two games, um, there's not much I would swap. Yeah, well, we mentioned the fans before the game, obviously a sold out allocation there. They really drove us forward today, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, I, mean, I got a little bit excited myself at the end of the <laughs> game and I apologise to Michael if, if you took him to that. But um, listen, I know our punters have they've had a tough time with it over the last few years. And last year in particular, they, they lost both these games. So for us to, to get, get a win for them, I'm delighted to set off on 2024. Much how we've finished 2023. Their support's been fantastic since I walked in the building, and I'm looking forward to seeing them all up in uh, Castle Bromwich next week. Well, that's it, isn't it? It's a big game coming up at the weekend, so this will only do us wonders for confidence and, and for mood. Really. Yeah, I mean, listen, I mentioned to the, I asked the players before the game at 10 to 3, what's your next game? And to a man, they said, this one. Yeah. And that was really important for me because if anybody had the mind on the ne on the next game at West Brom, they'd have been jettisoned straight out of the starting eleven. So I was really pleased that one mentality was that because I think walking might well could could be um, blamed for thinking well we might have a half an eye on it because it's a big it's, just, it's an historical day for the football club. But I think we'll only enjoy it if we go there and compete and give the best version of ourselves. Um, and I'm sure whatever eleven I pick will do just that. And the lads on the bench will will have a great day. We saw Ollie Scott and Stuart O'Keefe come through with 90 minutes. Mm. Again, that's a testament to the medical department, yeah, isn't it? For getting yeah. them through it and then they're back in, in making Delighted for both good contributions. Them. We've had to manage Stuart over the last sort of three weeks and he's been frustrated because he wants to play all, all the games and he's missed some big occasions for us this season. But I'm sure, well, I know, he, 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 he's as behind the lad when he's in the team as if, he, if he's in the team. Um, and young Ollie's been patient, he's had to be patient, but I'm delighted now um, that he's on board with us. Um, and I think he should today. Again, I said it. I said it to somebody else. Where well, Bench isn't weakening the team. Mm. I make changes. You know, Ryan Glover hasn't trained all week. He's got he, he stubbed, stubbed his toe in the previous previous game, so that's why he didn't start. And Kobe's gone and played at right wing back, which probably people think, "What am I doing here? Moving moving people all over the shop." But we just felt it was going to be an outlet for us. We felt we could get down the sides of them via him, um, and that, that proved to be the case. So yeah, it's all good. Exactly, and Ollie Bray as well coming on for his debut there. He's 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 been unfortunate, hasn't yeah. he, in having to wait this long? But like you've yeah. just said, there it's testament to the depth we've got. Yeah, well, it, we actually thought he had shingles um, just after he arrived at the club, but he's he's had a couple of weeks uh, back at home, been looked after well. Um, I'm delighted for him to be on a pitch. I think what people will understand as they say more of him, whilst he's six foot two, six foot three, he's quick. Mm -hmm. He's a bit, he's more like Jack Boran than he is like Kwame Thomas. So I believe we've got. Four really good strikers there, plus Josh obviously and Tommy if he plays in there, in the ten. Um, but even people like Tyler Frost bring goals to us, so long may it continue.